Hey everybody, Graham here, and I'm going to be giving a shot to the Strixhaven Arena Open. Did this last time for Kaldheim, put up a video of it. People seemed to enjoy that, so I'm uh, back at it again, doing best of one this time. I think I prefer best of three overall, but everyone tells me that best of one has best sort of chances of getting into day two, and... I, I need all the help I can get because Strixhaven is absolutely kicking my butt. I've I, I've been all right in draft, but sealed, boy, it's wild. It is high variance, and it seems like I put together what looks like a totally good and fair and powerful deck with bombs and everything, and I'm just getting dismantled. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. This may just be flinging 400 and, or 4,500 gems into a pit, considering that... At three wins, you only get 400 gem. In fact, let's see, 800, 1200. So you don't even get your full entry back if you make day two. <laughs> so, eh, let's give it a shot. I got a nice sleeve, so that's cool. I know that Arena's been having some, oh, it didn't get to do the opening thing, okay. I know Arena's been having some issues today with sort of connecting to the servers, but it seems to be working all right now. Let's take a look at just our rares and mythics. What are we working with here? Hello, also hello, also hello. All right, I like how this is looking. Natural order, you say. Cody, War Singer, Torrent Sculptor's pretty cool. Flamethrower Sonata's fine if you really need to kill something. I do like Crows and Grip. Just based on Dramatic Finale, which is, in my mind, a bomb, and Professor Onyx, which is also, you know, bomb status, I would say. And Lena and Light Scribe, which can really just sort of murder people out of nowhere. I'm hoping I can go a Silver Quill direction, but let's see what the rest of the, see what the rest of the pool actually looks like. Let's take a look at White. Ooh, well, that's deeply disappointing. There's like Star Pupil, which can be playable. Beaming Defiance, sure. Light Scribe. One, maybe two study breaks. Pilgrim and Double Combat Professor I like, but that's kind of it. So not astonishing there. Lash of Malice, sure. I'd run both of those, especially with the Light Scribe. Ingredient, Village Rites, both of those, I suppose, if we want to be like low to the ground and aggressive. Spectre, Professor Onyx, we might run Essence Infusion as well. Maybe that's the sort of thing we want to do. What's in blue that's really good? Negate, Kelpie Guide, Mentor's Guidance, Vortex Runner, those things. So like some decent blue, but not very much. In red, we've got Dispute, Igneous Inspiration, Tome Shredder, Storm Kiln Artist. Love Storm Kiln Artist. Double Pigment Storm, Explosive Welcome. Okay. Wow, there's like no green anyway. <laughs> like Natural Order into Professor. But wait, you have to sack a green creature. Okay, Pest Summoning. Natural Order. Okay, I'm, I'm obviously not considering that. Okay, actually, straight up Silver Quill wise, this looks fine because we've got the Apprentice, the Pledge Mage, Dramatic Finale, like I said, Exhilarating Elocution, Closing Statement, Owl and Shield Mage. That's 23 cards. Like, that looks pretty good, honestly. And then over here, hey, we got the Environmental Sciences. Do we have much in the way of actual learn? I don't think we have anything that. L we've got Study Break. Maybe I run the second Study Break just because we want to be as hyper aggressive as possible. Yeah, we don't actually have any way to learn, so maybe we just main deck some <laughs> lessons because we actually just have no learn. Get the sciences in there. Just get the inkling summoning in there. Do we have a campus? No. Oof. <laughs> Folks, this is this is looking rough. Gosh, I think we do run a second study break just because our whole plan clearly has to be kill stuff. What removal do we have? Lash of Malice and closing statement and then I guess killing them before it's a problem does this, does this deck even want to get to six mana do we have to main deck reduce to memory just because how else are we ever gonna <laughs> kill something oh no please suggest some land thank you good grief let's see what else might be possible prismari wise we've got elemental masterpiece spectacle mage and that's it so that's like one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen playables, maybe fifteen, perhaps. Lore hold could work. Rip apart is nice. We get all those red cards in here, but then we're missing out on Professor Onyx. Well, I should look at a lore hold build just to be just to be safe. Oh no, we're losing so much good stuff here. So we have that environmental sciences, so, you know, maybe there's a chance. These could technically all cast for white, so, you know. Figure we may as well take the time to, you know, give it a look over. 
uh, and then it was right rip apart not thrilling discovery venerable war singer quintorius these sloths could maybe run a team pennant i mean that's a deck right technically i mean dramatic f finale is obviously very greedy with this particular mana base and then what's our 12 creatures 11 non-creatures I mean, I'll say the upside to this is that at least it has more removal, right? Dispute, rip apart, igneous inspiration, double pigment storm. But I just don't know if it's fast enough for the kind of deck it's trying to be. And I don't even know if Dramatic Finale fits into this deck with so few creatures and being quad white. This is a rough build, folks. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the right direction is here. I think it, I think it is Silver Quill. I think that is the way we want to go. I think also I probably, I have a Lorehold campus and I'm considering running it anyway just as a tapped scry land. So I wonder if I throw in the campus and also like rip apart and igneous inspiration, splash in some removal. Okay, what's Professor Onyx actually do? Each opponent sacrifices a creature with the greatest power. Yes, and then Magecraft. I mean, yeah, just Planeswalkers. I mean, they change the way that players play the game so much so that's probably worth getting her in there anyway maybe this is what i should be doing 11 creatures well 12 12 creatures let's see go down to one study break can i afford to cut creatures <laughs> maybe we don't need village rights 11 and 13 i probably only need two mountains if i've got only splashing two of these and have the campus and environmental sciences Again, the reason I'm main decking sciences is because before adding Igneous Inspiration, the only learn I had was Study Break. Now I have two instances of learn, but still. Is this better? This might be better. I can't splash double red from Pigment Storm. This is way too expensive. This is not the kind of deck that runs Explosive Welcome. The other red cards sort of rely more on being in, in red. What's this do? Discard a card, then draw a card. When you discard an instant or sorcery this way, this deals damage equal to that card's mana value to a creature or planeswalker you don't control. Uh, that's, that's very specific. That's Biblioplex Assistant. So what am I giving up on by running these red cards? A more consistent mana base. I guess a more consistent mana base, but I think more removal is probably going to be pretty important. How many creatures? 11? You know, I think, I, I think I'd rather run the frog than the star pupil, if I'm being honest. I don't have that many ways to really get the star pupils thing to work. I've got, well, I've got a couple ways to put counters on stuff, but why not put it on a menace creature? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, no, not Professor's Warning. Although Professor's Warning is also good. I still have to make a cut here anyway, and it might actually be Essence Infusion. I kind of want to keep beaming Defiance around just for the hex proof. Is this too expensive? Maybe this is too expensive. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Well, no, this with the Light Scribe might just be how I have to win a game from time to time. This is tough. This is a tough build. Yeah, let's cut Essence Infusion. How does this look? I do think I cut one mountain, but otherwise, I think this just has to be what I try and do. Well, folks, I don't know what to tell you, but let's try and win some games, I guess. Round one, it's a weird hand, but it's a keep. So let's do that. Oh, that's nice. Drawing Leech Fanatic there is good. It's nice to be able to curve out. I'm astonished my opponent didn't have a two drop with double white. Okay, I accept. So next turn, do we play Combat Professor or Dramatic Finale? Let's see what my opponent does. I'm totally cool with them throwing out Lash of Malice against my Leech Fanatic. Given that my opponent has no other creature at the moment, I don't, I'm going to do this. I don't think they're trading here because they have nowhere for those counters to go. So I think this is fine. I don't think they're going to take this trade. And then hopefully next turn I can finale into finale and lash. Okay, cool. This is, this is sweet. So I can lash the shade wing. Oh, they aren't even going to. Okay. I was like, that's a weird attack. Yeah. I'm actually just going to, I'm just going to kill this now. So, so that if they block with spiteful squad, they have nowhere to put the counters. And this sacrifices it. Whoa! Book. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I shall teach you much. Thanks, Mavinda. And they're gonna plumb the forbidden. All right. So they can't cast. So you may cast target instant or sorcery from your graveyard this turn. If that spell doesn't target a creature you control, it costs eight more. All right. So they can't just 
fire off either of these without paying. Okay. Well, I, yeah, we count those. Great. Awesome. Let's go. This is a much shakier opening hand, but I can still cast Pledge Mage on three, and I can closing statement if I have to. So, yeah, we'll keep it. And I'm going first, so sure, let's do it. I don't love having my first play be on turn three in Silver Quill, but especially with all the two drops I have. Because if they can kill this now, they will. Like if they have their own Lash of Malice or so. Yeah. Well, okay. Get Spectre down next turn at least. Nothing. Again. All right. I'm not going to not play creatures into open mana. All right. Big zoomy. I have so little removal. Do I just use closing statement? Because I want to play Professor Onyx next turn. All right, I'm gonna, I am actually gonna kill that bear because so I'm doing it this way so I can keep up beaming defiance to keep my specter around. And then next turn, if they play some big scary threat, I can play Professor Onyx and get it with her ability. And if they don't, then I think we're in good shape. Like if I have to keep specter back to block, so be it. But my hope is that Professor Onyx can protect herself. That's great, that's very encouraging for the prospects of Professor Onyx, anyway. Yeah, come on over. All right, what's her plus ability? You lose one life, look at the top three cards of your library, put one in your hand, the rest in your graveyard. Oh, well, I definitely want that, but I also definitely want that, so... Man, rough. Man, that's a tough call. I have a second combat, Professor. Finale is irreplaceable is basically my theory. All right, fingers crossed they don't have some giant pump spell and get to just kill Professor Onyx, but I don't know, can't really play around that, I suppose. That's fine. More bears is totally okay. Mage Duel would be bad, but they can't, no, they can't cast Mage Duel. There is the other one. There's the, the other punch spell. I don't remember. Did something Tendrils? I don't remember the name of it, where they could have the Professor uh, just fight my Spectre, which would be bad. That's great to see. Yeah, I think... I think we're just going to play the finale. Can I attack here? I think I could. I think we're going to do this. Get them to sack their bear. Uh, you know what? We'll hold off on attacks for one turn, just to really make sure that Onyx lives. Maybe this is too conservative, but... It's the decision I've made, and I've got to live with it. And that's why... Boy, does this ever smack of combat shenanigans. You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna chump. This frankly upgrades my leech fanatic, as far as I'm concerned. Is that their second crushing disappointment? Oof. That is disappointing. Alright, this is sweet. Silver Quill Apprentice. Oh, I should've... Actually, I should've used Onyx first, but here we are. Ooh. Okay, Lash of Malice doesn't really help me here, so I think we'll take the Summoning. Let's take Inkling Summoning. And then we will do this. We get a little, get a couple Magecraft triggers. Do that. We also drain. Get to go looking for some other planes, I guess. Play that. And yeah, I think I'm comfortable with this now. Because now they are incredibly almost dead next turn. Professor Onyx. Yeah, there we go. Professor Onyx, as it turns out, puts in good work. Okay. I think I was maybe waffling on whether or not that was a bomb earlier, but uh, with the right support, definitely bomb level. All right, let's keep it rolling. All right, round three. So I was going to say I don't think I can keep this, but I mean, now I do? Seeing this, I do think I can keep this, and I think it's probably pretty okay. Like, I have to science this for white, so this Igneous Inspiration is bad, but maybe we'll naturally draw planes, and then I can... Yeah. It's This is probably not a good hand, but on the play, I would rather not be down a card. All right, well, gosh. So here's here's the decision point. I'm more likely to draw planes. I can play Inkling Summoning next turn. It has to be wrong to get the mountain here, right? Maybe not. I'm going to risk it because this will help me deal with a threat. I don't consider that a threat. See exactly how we drew it up. 
We shall deal with the leech fanatic eventually. That was very lucky. I admit that was supremely lucky. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> You're not supposed... This isn't supposed to be a color combination. Huh? Alright, that sucks, I guess. Double leech fanatic. Okay, okay. Well, we're gonna... We're still gonna lead with the professor. Uh, and hope they don't kill it. And then next turn... Hope they don't use literally the same card. Well, are they fully Rakdos? What's happening here? I love the lack of attacks. That's great. As far as I'm concerned. Let's go to combat. Actually, no. Let's... Well, no, this is fine. We have, we have beaming, we have, we have stuff. Let's go to combat. Let's get in for three. Uh, let's kill this thing now. Um, oh, right. Look at all these lessons I have. Anatomy, or ways off casting, reduced to memory, and I have study break. And I might be casting study break immediately, actually. So yeah, let's just get anatomy. Let's actually, they were reticent to attack last turn with Combat Professor here, so let me actually just see if they attack at all. They don't. Okay, great, then this is fine. I'm happy with the continuation of exactly what is what is occurring here. All right, maybe I should have used the anatomy there. I've only got one white mana. Yeah, that was silly, I wasn't even thinking. I should have just put expanded anatomy on the Combat Professor, considering we have Beaming Defiance. So I guess I'll be doing that now. Oh, that's also helpful. Uh, yep. We're going in. We are going all in on combat, Professor, here. I feel like my opponent's in a bad way. Fuming effigy. Okay. All right. I mean, I guess they really need to gain life. So I'm going to stop them from doing some amount of that. Can I cast Spectre and still... Oh, I can. This is great. Okay. Um, we will continue the slams. Alright, I'm not going to use Study Break because they, they are welcome to attack me with that Fuming Effigy. Awesome. Wow, that was... This is atypical for my experiences with Strixhaven Sealed so far. On we go. Hey, we've made back 400 gems. Huzzah! Oh yeah, my vault just ticked over. <laughs> this is another tricky one, because we've got Lash, we've got Leash Fanatic, so we get to play something, any land, and we get Inkling Summoning. It's not exciting. This is probably, oh gosh, I don't know. This is really close. Maybe it's not really close. I'm sure there's somebody out there yelling that this is absolutely not close, but I think it might be close. I don't love it, actually. I think this is better. Let's keep this one and put Rip Apart back. This is very similar. It's very closely modeled on the other hand, but it's got more actual stuff happening. Also, that's fun. Now, we will need some more land, though. A little worried about Lorehold. Yeah. A little worried about the speed we might be encountering with Lorehold. All right, this is a nice sort of back-to-back -back possibility. Pledge Mage into Inkling Summoning for the jump. I will take a trade here if they offer it, by the way. But it looks like they might kill my Leech Fanatic. Or are they just reading it? Yeah, I'm... Just as happy to not take damage. Oh yeah? Two can play at that game. What now? Please, please, please don't kill it. <laughs> this is where my one of my lashes of malice would be useful. Very eager, good. Okay, I like that they weren't willing to attack there. Would have liked another land, but given the option, this is fine. Let's give it flying. Now the question is, do I trade this Inkling for one of those creatures? And I think that depends entirely on what they do before combat. Huh. Just right to the end step. All right. Ooh, there's that Lash I was talking about. Really, really would like another land. I guess they also were hoping for a land, which is why they said nice there. Well, I have nothing else to do, so we're just gonna pop their Pledge Mage and uh, slam for five. lead the charge as far as aggro is concerned. Looks like we're both stuck on three lands. Wow. 
Well, I mean, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. I think this card sucks. But, I don't know, we'll see. For three mana, destroy it, only your opponent. So I can do that now, but then I can't la I kinda wanna just lash one of these things, but I wanna, I want the Pledge Mage to be able to attack before I do that. So I think what I will do is just offer this trade, because I'm totally happy trading an Inkling for their Stone Rise Spirit, and I don't think they take this trade. Okay, cool, then that's even better. I wasn't comfortable offering Pledge Mage for Stone Rise Spirit, because I think Pledge Mage is going to put in a little bit more work here. Okay, they've hit their fourth land. Now I would like to hit my fourth land, because that's only fair. Or a two-drop that I can cast while also playing Lash of Malice. Either of these things would be fine. Alright, come on over. So this is five mana. Oh, yikes. Okay, don't like that. So five mana to make a tapped spirit, but they're they're not there yet. So I go to 11. Though depending on how things shake out, I should be able to... Another Lorehold Excavation? That's amazing. Oh shoot, I drew that. So I really did want to actually gain some life there, but I can't take another turn off casting these four drops. So we're going to start with Combat Professor. Because they... This is what they went looking for with their learn, and I'm totally fine if they cast that. Put two counters on target creature, other creatures get plus one, plus one. Does this kill them next turn? Because I have three, I have six. Yeah, this is actually lethal next turn with this board, assuming that they don't kill either of these creatures. Because Pledge Mage and, okay, I think they're dead. I think they're still dead, even at 10, because this represents to because this is a spell i'm taking way too long to do this math but i just want to make really sure six seven eight nine ten is this exactly lethal yes two counters on target creature other other creatures oh wait hang on put two counters on target <sighs> wow did them gaining that life really do this this takes them to one all right three four five six from the combat professor seven eight on one creature, nine on another creature. So this puts them to one. Uh, we're doing it anyway. And we will give it to the combat professor more likely to block. Yeah, and we'll probably block with combat professor because unless they also kill pledge mage, we know we can make pledge mage fly next turn. We'll get to see what they exile here first. So we know before we block, we'll know whether or not we want to or need to. Star Pupil and Lorehold Command? Lorehold Command? That's lucky. Okay, what? Make a spirit. Creatures get indestructible. Deals three damage to any target and target player gains three life. Sack a permanent. Draw two cards. All right, so I'm going to block. Do I block? No, I don't block. Because me going to seven doesn't kill me. If I block, they can kill Combat Professor, and then I don't have them dead because they would gain life and go to four. So I can't block here. Or I shouldn't block here. They might have something in hand that kills me here, but I don't know. Lorehold Command, what a hit. I feel like they have to play this with one of the modes. To Why is this one of all of them an instant? They have to play this with the mode that gains them life. So this way they can't kill the Combat Professor, which means that they're dead to combat professor, but they can kill my pledge mage and gain life, which is fine. Yeah. Woof. Close one. Yikes. <laughs> narrow. Very, very narrow there. I, I, uh, I did have fun. Thank you. Carry on then. Not the fastest hand, but this is fine. Let's keep it. Be nice if I could draw one of my two drops. That's like the literal opposite. That's just about my most expensive <laughs> creature, I think. It's the second most expensive spell in the deck, short of Professor Onyx. Yeah, I mean, this is exactly the sort of creature Lash of Malice is designed to kill, so let's not beat around the bush. Yeah, all right, sure. 
Let's get Pilgrim down there. Imperceptibly thin my deck. Be definitely sure we can play Alan Shield Mage on curve. No play? I love no play. That's my favorite kind of play. You unironically love to see it. Hey, I just realized that I've had the game muted for the recording um, for the whole several first rounds. So <laughs> sorry about that. Maybe I will have put in some uh, lo-fi beats to chill to and probably just let them continue through this whole thing. Why not? But now you also get arena noises. That's, <laughs> whoops, oh well. So they, uh, didn't really counter my pledge mage. They just sort of remanded it back to my hand and went looking for environmental sciences, which is fair. It's a good and reasonable card. Now they're going to go looking for some specimens. If I could spike a dramatic finale, that'd be good. Ooh, fractal summoning. All right, all right. So this this is going to be a much more difficult deck to contend against, I think, because I'm certainly not attacking them. I'm not making not offering this trade. It's just a bad trade. I don't have a lot of ways to kill an enormous fractal and I have not been in a really good situation to be doing much racing in this game so yeah back up at 20 it's not where I like to see my opponent having access to that much mana and being at 20 life I'm over here with very little going on Let's see if this resolves I don't know what they're doing over there can't remember if I have one or two copies of Study Break in the main deck. Let's look at my sideboard. I only have one, because there's two in the board. Because I feel like just tempoing with Study Break is going to be the way that I <laughs> have to win this. Oh, I was afraid of that. Well, it cost them the life at least. Beaming Defiance in this moment would be very strong, but here we are. Boy, they're doing a lot of learning over there. Elemental summoning as well. Oh boy. So I'm actually going to hold the environmental sciences so that I know I can keep my pledge mage in the air. Because again, I think, like, they're, they're already down to 11. I think the only way that I win this is supreme tempo aggression. I'm hoping this turn they just spend the whole time making a giant fractal or even their elemental summoning. Cool, that's fine. Please don't fight my creatures. Please don't fight. No, 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 stop it. Yeah, I was afraid of exactly that. All right. All right, well, just got to keep on doing what I can to crunch in the air. I'm definitely prepared to uh, take a hit or two from that 4-4. Might even actually chump the 4-4 with this frog just to draw some cards. Well, a card. Okay. Don't love the thought of them gaining life. That really messes up my clock. Woof. Wow, they just hard cast that. Didn't even sack their pest for it. That's surprising. Uh, yeah, they have so many things. This unwilling ingredient's not getting through, so I'm just gonna cash it in right now. Nice. Can I not? Oh, I tapped out of black, that's why. I was like, can I not cast that right now? Ooh, that's very strong. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to, well, I'm gonna play this first. And I'm going to lash their leech fanatic so they don't gain life. Keep on slamming with the pledge mage. sitting pretty here as far as I'm concerned because I can just jump with the Pilgrim and turn the Pilgrim into another flyer. They're down to two cards in hand, one of which is Fractal Summoning. I assume they have to just start fighting. No, no attacks. Wow, okay. I guess they just don't want me to turn my Pilgrim into a into a flyer, which, uh, I mean, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. All right, big Fractal. Study break. What lessons do I have? Wait, they're at five. I have, um, what's it in the board? Um, Expanded Anatomy. That's lethal, right? Yes, that is lethal. Okay. Oh, 
that's, I mean, <laughs> uh, let's not get fancy. Oof. Okay. Oh my god. Wow. A month of getting absolutely dumpstered at Seal. This, I guess it was preparing me for this day. Moving on. This is a fine keep. Not a great keep, but it's a fine keep. I wish we could curve out a little quicker than turn four, but okay, that, that, that doesn't help the, the curving out plan, but thank you. Red. What are we looking at here? Lorehold or Prismari? I haven't faced Prismari yet today, really. <sighs> no. Okay. Probably. Uh, I'm going to kill it now. There's too many, like if they put an enthusiastic study on it in response and then I'm just feeling miserable all day long. Okay, great. Where were you? Um, let's start with Spectre for a couple of reasons. One, I'd actually rather keep the combat professor around. And two, like if so, if they want to blow off or move on a flyer, they get the Spectre and not the combat professor. But two, it just works better that then the combat professor has like secret haste by it. Uh, you play it and then pump the specter and get in. So they're going to play a creature and it's going to get a plus one plus one counter and haste. And they learn environmental sciences. Or maybe they just learn into sciences. Oh, that's all right. Cool. So they just paid two mana to learn. I love to see it. Great. I should play the pilgrim next turn, but it's tempting to just <laughs> sit back and start draining with Spectre. I guess we'll see what they do. Yeah, I was afraid of that. That's fair. Oh, that's... Okay, that's a better use of my time. They still have five cards in their hand? Yeah. This is not the position they want to be in. as the lore hold deck. Six lands and no board. But heck, I don't know. Two more lands and maybe they hit an explosive welcome or whatever it's called and then I just get absolutely dumpstered. More Pigment Storm, all right. How many of those you got? <sighs> I'm going for it. I guess of these, I really just want Lash of Malice. And by, sorry, by going for it, I mean I'm attacking. Because there's actually not a tremendous amount of haste in the format, certainly not six damage worth of haste. So, you know, fingers crossed. One more mana and I could be getting an explosive welcome. But I mean, again, fingers crossed here. Um, I'll take the Igneous Inspiration because I do have two creatures I can play this turn. Oh, there's very little land left in my deck, it looks like. All right, slam with the Spectre. And I'm going to pass. Yeah, I'm going to pass here. I'm not going to play Unwilling Ingredient because I want to keep up Lash of Malice in case they try to do something silly. But I think I have them profoundly dead next turn, depending on what they do. Because Igneous Inspiration, sure, that's fine. Do I just lash it now? I guess I just do this now. Because again, they could have tricks, so. So Magecraft, now they're at eight. Igneous Inspiration to their dome does three and then another two for the Magecraft and then um, go looking for expanded anatomy or whatever. Spectre gets them, I guess. Yeah. So we'll just do this. To the face. Good game, say they. Yeah, there's a very good reason Professor Onyx has tenure. And I think we're seeing it here. <laughs> All right. We're waiting for round seven. This has been... It's it's it's, it's been a, just a, a light, fun afternoon of, of magic. And <laughs> I would love for it to continue that way for this last game. Hopefully the last game. Because this has been, again, not my lived experience <laughs> with this format so far. Uh-oh. Spider-Man pointing at Spider-Man again. I go first. Not with this hand, I don't. Uh, it begins. Yeah. I, I guess I keep this. And I think I'm putting back a mountain? All right, well, I shouldn't have said anything because I guess I super jinxed it. Haha, -ha, they think I'm Lorehold. Uh-oh. Yeah. Why did I say anything? <laughs> I'm not actually superstitious in that way. Oh, no. Pass. 
pestilent cauldron. Interesting. There we go. Uh, easily get this guy down, get another land, trades for the brackish trudge. This is all great. Okay, cool. We're back in the game. To an extent. I will absolutely trade. Without a second thought. Oh, look at them with their fancy... Wow! Their fancy avatar here. That is... That's a very aggressive Baleful Mastery. I guess they're just trying to put the game away as quick as possible. I mean, I don't like being at 12. I... I, I don't play Combat Professor. Uh, like, the, the option there is to play Combat Professor or lash the Brackish Trudge. And that's very tempting to just kill that thing. But then I'm doing nothing else with my turn, and it's pretty weak. Well, they discarded Thunderous Orator. Why are they running Thunderous Orator in this Witherbloom deck? Are they some sort of Obzon malarkey? I will say I am going to take another hit from this thing. Because Combat Professor is too good to keep around, and I do have an answer for it. And if I can untap, I can protect Combat Professor. They're considering attacking with the past. Interesting. All right. Hmm, that's also scary. Okay, so... Plus two, plus two. Do I pass? No, I'm gonna kill it now. I'm just gonna kill it now. Oh, actually, okay, so in my end step I could have a closing statement, uh, but that's also not great. So no, we're just gonna kill it. And this way, even if they make Karak Wrangler a 4-4, four, four, I can block it with Combat Professor with the Beaming Defiance, because I assume they're just gonna Slam. I've, still, I've only got one card in my graveyard, so they're pretty far off drawing cards with Pestilent Cauldron, so that's encouraging. Now, what what will get me here is if they try to use removal on Combat Professor pre-combat, because then they just won't attack. I gotta try for it now. Gotta try for it now. I don't know, maybe I should have blocked first. I never know what's the right order. I think, oh, wow. I think it's one of the situations where I'm, where I lose no matter what happens there, if they have something. But I guess we got away with that. Ah, uh, now that thing has to die. Good lord. Please put a stop on my end step to make a closing statement for my turn. Uh, I will end the turn. But wait, I have more to say. What combat trick could they have that they keep attacking with that pest? Oh, I know, the, um, infuse with vitality that gives it death touch. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, given that, we will play... All right, this is good. We're going to play two creatures here, and I will gladly trade off one of them for that pest and the Infuse with Vitality. Are they killing me here? What's happening? Let me hit you for four, please. I have asked nicely. Are they going to draw... They're going to draw cards, because they're, they're clearing out their graveyard. So they're drawing a card here. Yeah. They hath drawn a card. I fight you. Terrific. Now, actually, you know what? Let's um, play Unwilling Ingredient. That's a much better thing to trade. It's wild to me that they still haven't gotten another creature into play. Cram Session could be bad. Another Sciences? Not another Sciences. We haven't seen Sciences from them yet, have we? No, we haven't. Okay, Sciences. Ah, right, the white they've been looking for. Ooh, hello. Okay, okay. Probably the shield mage they... They're probably gonna send... Yeah, okay. So that'll cost me seven mana someday, if I ever get there. Spellbinder can't block the combat professor profitably, though. So that's fun. And with all that life gain, they missed their chance to return the trudge that turn. Um, I can only play one of these two drops and it's going to be a leech fanatic, so... All right, well, just going to keep on slamming with Combat Professor. They're tapped out, so they can't block and use the um, infusion spell that we assume they have. But I'm not going to attack with the Inkling, because I want Inkling to trade with the Spellbinder. But again, they probably have that spell. So I think Spellbinder is going to go away and come right back. But, you know, I don't, don't really know what else I'm supposed to do about it. Like, I I think I'm in a pretty rough spot here, to be, to be frank, but... Um, Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. It clearly helped that they were off their white mana for so long. I'm playing the land, even though they know now they have perfect information. I'm playing the land because if I draw a land next turn, I'll want to be able to play the shield mage. 
But yeah, if I were them and I had the Infuse with Vitality, I would be attacking and then using it on the Spellbinder for when I trade with my Inkling. Because I'm not blocking with Combat Professor. That is too dangerous. Because Combat Professor is basically the only way I'm going to be able to win this game. Oh, please don't highlight. <laughs> I always get nervous when they highlight my creatures. Ooh, no! I knew that after saying it was the only way I could win that they would do that. All right. So they definitely have the infuse and they have it up, no less. Yep, yep. Oh. Well, if I'd thought they didn't have it, then I might have chumped the pest just so I could start attacking with Leech Fanatic and gaining life. Well, that's just, you're just making fun of me now. All right, well, play this thing, I guess. Not a lot of haste in those colors, so I may as well attack with my 1-1. One -one. If I draw my second swamp, I think I'm still playing the shield mage before I get Professor Onyx down, then maybe that's wrong. Luckily, Brackish Trudge enters tapped. Sadly, they have their own combat, Professor. Okay, land, please. Land would be very, very strong here. Cool. It's, I don't even have a choice. It's the only one I can play. So we trade Shield Mage for Combat Professor and Silver Quill Apprentice for Brackish Trudge. Uh, and I'm not going to attack with the Unwilling Ingredient. I could get through for one, but, you know, if they kill the Silver Silver Quill Apprentice, I'm going to want to chump with Unwilling Ingredient. And you know how it is. Mage Hunter's Onslaught, I think, kills me. And they're looking at my graveyard. Oh, are they going to draw a card? I do have six cards in my bin. They have four cards in theirs. They could draw out of their own graveyard. You don't have to touch my stuff. Ooh. Uh, okay. That's also very, very bad. That doesn't strictly kill me this turn. In fact, they attack with both creatures, and I draw a swamp, then I can kill Combat Professor. Oh, exile target creature or planeswalker. No. Attack with both. Attack with both. Attack with both. Attack with both. Both creatures, come on. Attack with the trudge. Dang it. Oh, well. I am deceased. That was a rough game. <laughs> ah, it's a shame too. I think if my deck had been in better form, as it has been in the six previous games, I think uh, I think it would have been all right. All right, you got me. No worries. As absolutely swag as it would have been to just be like, "Yo, easy 7-0. We can. We're allowed. We're allowed a couple losses, and I'm fine with that. This is the kind of hand you love to see. I don't think I hold the sciences for the Silver Quill Pledge Mage. I think I just want to run the sciences out there as quick as I can. Also, because I have nothing else to do on two. If I draw a two drop creature, I'll play that instead. But I... that's weird. But I didn't, so I definitely want to do this now, especially since I drew the rip apart. And then I'm actually going to lead with Pilgrim because I want to make sure I can hit Dramatic Finale as quick as I can. Where do I just kill that? Mm, no. This is fine. We're going to be fine. I have a lot of options depending on what they do. That's annoying. Oh, there's that environmental sciences. Island? Oh. Well, that could be a big problem. So, I'm not under a lot of direct pressure, so I'm going to play the dramatic finale because that just is a more efficient use of my mana. I could have played Spectre, but I'm not blocking with it anyway. And then next turn I can play Pledge Mage and rip apart or something else depending on what they do but i'm fine to just take a hit for three and see what is going on with their deck depending on what they do i might just be pledge mage and keep up study break i don't know well that is gonna be an enormous problem i don't quite know how i deal with that closing statement i guess we'll get there if i draw it eventually uh so i can rip apart the stonebound mentor first and then play the Pledge Mage. And that's probably still fine. So let's do that. Because it's not an artifact, is it? It's just colorless. It's just colorless. All right. Yeah, I'm not going to pay. Because they can't do anything with that. Please, copy it all you like. No, I didn't want to copy it? Weird. All right. Tempting to immediately level up the Pledge Mage into a flyer, but... Holy shamoly. 
Oh, this guy. Forgot about this guy. <laughs> Where's this guy been? Ah, <sighs> Freet Flame Painter. Uh, okay, they definitely have targets. The plan is try to block the Flame Painter with Spectre of the Fens. Hope it lives. If it doesn't, at least it'll turn into an inkling. Take a hit from the Wandering Archaic. Don't let the Flame Painter recast environmental sciences or academic dispute. And then ideally do a ton of damage to them, he said, hopefully. The funny thing about Study Break is I don't, like, really care if they... Well, they can learn from it, so I guess that that's probably a problem. Ooh, you may discard two cards. They discarded a land and a Silver Quill Pledge Mage. Yeah, I don't want them to learn from it. But also, I, I can pay... Like, I have the mana that I can figure out a turn where I can pay for Study Break. In the meantime, I will happily take four from... No, well, not happily. Am I thrilled about it? No, but this is okay. Sure. How many chunks of four can I take out of that guy? <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. All right, I don't mind Leech Fanatic. I wonder if they have Expel. Some point I will have to deal with that Archaic. I don't think it's right now, though. Let's attack a Specter of the Fens. Play this. Continue holding on. Probably taking one more hit from Wandering Archaic. Hoping my opponent keeps drawing nothing else. Which seems unlikely considering their thrilling discovery, but here we are. Yikes! Oh wow, they learned for a introduction to Annihilation. So they're gonna do that to my Light Scribe and then hit me. Oh, 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 okay, interesting. Oh, and that, oh, okay. Wow, I'm super dead, super bonus mega dead. Wow, what a demoralizing way to lose the game. Holy crap, there's like zero way out of this now. I don't know why it's taking them so long to decide what they wanna kill, because they get to cast another spell here. Man, that's the first time I've unsuccessfully stopped Ifrit Flame Painter from hitting me in this format so far. And uh, yeah, it's as bad as I was afraid it was going to be. It's uh, terrible, <laughs> in fact. They, they exiled my dramatic finale. Oh, they're just going learning again. Wow, they didn't even try to kill it. That's astounding. What are they looking for? All right. Well, I mean, okay. I guess I'm not just dead. Look for their own Inkling Summoning. Sure. Oh, well, that's also bad. Okay. So I get to Inkling Summoning and Study Break and keep up paying so they can't copy it. Okay. Oh, that's a spell. I uh, miscounted that one. Okay. Well, okay, study break is still the plan. It just means they get an extra learn out of it, which uh, sucks, but here we are. Yeah, go ahead. You get one. More learn, free learn for the opponent. Because I have am not used to playing around wandering archaic. Oh, and they get to learn first too. That's interesting. Surely they're running out of spells to learn for, said Graham, hopefully. Nope. That's relevant. They can kill my inkling. Oh, hey, right. It's probably worthwhile. Uh, yeah. Sure, let's grab that. I assume they just kill my inkling with that lesson right now. Yeah? No? Yeah? Yeah? No? No, but yeah? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I can play Reduce to Memory and pay for it and play Leech Fanatic. So, ooh, that's also fun. Okay. So I have to, what, what do I do here? I don't play Leech Fanatic, do I? I actually keep up Beaming Defiance to try to eat their Ifrit Flame Painter. Do I attack at all? That's a question. Mm, probably not. Please go away. Oh right, no, I don't attack at all because they're gonna get, um, they're gonna get a spirit here. Uh, no, you do not get to copy this, by the way, opponent. Thank you though. I mean, eventually Lorehold Excavation is just gonna kill me, but. Also, they get to make another spirit here. So maybe I'm extra bonus dead. But who knows? 
I'm going to continue playing this game of Magic the Gathering. Yeah. Carry on. I'll trade that spirit. Yeah. I'll trade that spirit for my inkling. I don't know about that spirit. I'm going to eat the flame painter. Access tunnel. What a draw. Oh, now I'm sad. <laughs> I thought I had like a fractional chance. Oh, I'm actually just dead on board here now because they just hit me with the flame painter and then, yeah, all right. Well, uh, make him do it, I suppose. Man, what a shame. Oh, I could have held that actually until they cast whatever they're about to cast. Oh, it's just inkling summoning. Just more dead. Surely they won't see that they have a card in hand that can deal one damage and they'll pass the turn and they'll hit a land and they'll gain a life and somehow, even though they're pulling more land out of their deck, and then somehow uh, I will kill them from 17 in one turn. Oof. Oof, I say. What an unlucky series of events that was. All right, are we going 6-0 and oh into 6-3? and three? I hope not. This is a very strange hand, and I'm going to keep it. Because it's got a campus. I haven't had any opportunity to scry so far. It's got both colors. It's got early answers and late game smashy smashy. Though, I would like to draw land for a turn or two. I think that would be useful. Well, that's also annoying. So, goodbye, Professor Onyx. It's been a pleasure and a privilege. I, I, I will miss you and your guidance. Hopefully we don't need you to win this game. We probably need a third land, though. A third land would be uh, my preference. Okay, we got past a fractal summoning once. Really needed that to be a land. Yeah, see, now we're just in... Wow, we're in terrible shape. Just very bad shape here. What an inauspicious end uh, this will be to uh, very fun first six rounds. Well, that's also bad. That's about the worst thing I could have drawn. Cool, 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 cool. All right, pass it on over. Now, if they attack with Master Symmetrist and Professor of Zoomancy here, there is a line for me to trade off for both of them. So I'm kind of hoping that's what happens. Oh, no attacks. Neat. D stop making fun of me, deck. Why are you... <laughs> you don't have to, like, actively mock me. If it's gonna be... If it's gonna be bad, it's gonna be bad. You don't have to, like, rub it in. Yeah, it is. It is a crushing disappointment. First of all, how dare you? Secondly, what gives you the right? And finally, no. Still no attacks, huh? All right. I mean, I can't not play, I can't just pass and like hope to get f fresh with the Lash of Malice. I have to try and grind my way back into this game. Uh, that is not how to grind my way back into this game. That is, that is how I lose. Let's see. Trample uh, makes this the most annoying. Uh, okay, I guess we eat that and we trade over here. We attempt to eat that and trade over here. Okay, okay. Ah, yes, I see. I see, I see. Very cool. Very, uh, very, very fun and, and, and good and not, and not at all bad. Uh, incredibly exciting, actually. So they have, uh, 16 trample power. I can gain four and go to 10 and mitigate. Oh, in fact, I can't actually, it, it would only, it would only increase their power. With that plan, I would be able to mitigate one damage by killing my own Silver Coal Apprentice or add two damage. So they would actually have 20, no, 18. I go to 10 and can block three. So what I'm saying is uh, we've done the math and I'm just gonna concede this game before my opponent thinks I'm rage roping them. What a shame. That's not how I wanted this day to go. What a clean six wins those were at the beginning. Also, this is just kind of annoying. This has been happening all day. Is this, is the, oh, there we go. Well, I get 1600 gems back. Thanks, Magic Arena. What a fun first six games those were. Ah, oh, well, 
I'm actually thrilled with how we did on those first six, considering that, frankly, I don't think our pool was that amazing. Like, yeah, Professor Onyx put in a lot of work, but like, I mean, you all saw the deck build. Anyway, well, that's it. I, I, I don't know if I'll try again. I could, I might, who knows? But um, I, I hope that you enjoyed following along with me on this journey. Hopefully one of these will not just be me doing doing fine and then cratering at the last possible moment. I don't know if my heart can take it. <laughs> hey, please subscribe to the channel. Um, leave a comment. Engage with our stuff so that other people get to see it. So that all the hard work we put into things has value out there in the world being seen by people. And um, have a good day. Enjoy yourselves out there. Bye, everybody.